hey guys welcome back to my channel I am back with another video again um, on just me being at work and doing my clients hair um, I'm still feel like I'm still in the introduction phase like since my channel is fairly new I'm still kind of introducing myself to you guys so if you would love to see this video just keep watching all right, my first client, she was getting a relaxer, and she is one of my clients that prefers her hair to be a little more straight than the wavy texture that I normally leave to the hair, but it's okay because, um, I mean, we're growing out our hair, so we don't like perm it like super, super straight. Um, I do kind of sneak and leave a little bit of wave to it because she wants her hair to grow out, so it's always better to not perm it bone straight. Um, so if you're trying to grow your hair out, then once your hair gets to be, your ends gets to be, uh, you know, two, three or four years old, then it doesn't break off because it's been permed so many times or it's been permed, like the perm left on there so long to where it's straight and it just breaks off on the ends. So she kind of has like a texturizer relaxer. So we're just going to finish that and then um, I'm going to go through with that big tooth comb, apply the relaxer, and then I'm going to come back through on the side I started on and go back through and smooth it down to her scalp a little bit more and work my way around the edges um, so that the edges will get straight. But I always like to do the edges last because they thin really fast and it burns a lot faster too because she came with her hair in a bun so you know people like brush their edges, they put gel and stuff like that so the edges do tend to burn a little bit faster. Um, and then here we washed, uh, rinsed out that relaxer, washed it out, and then we're just applying some black color to her roots. And then I am going to be putting some conditioner on her ends because her ends are, the rest of our hair is still black, but we just wanted to cover up a couple of uh, gray strands of hair. So we're going to be putting black on her roots. Um, and then we're going to be putting the conditioner on the rest of the hair. So she's going to get a deep conditioner um, and color. And I also am spraying some um, protein in her hair also to go with her conditioning process and put her under the dryer for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then um, that's the protein that I'm spraying in her hair. And then she's going to go under the dryer for 15 to 20 minutes with the plastic cap. And then we're going to take her out, rinse that product out, and proceed with her finish. Here we have washed out that color and rinsed the conditioner and then I apply some leave-in conditioner and of course setting lotion and I am just going through I do this routine very routine to go through the big tooth comb first and then a smaller tooth comb and she is getting rolled on the purple rollers as you can see because she wants a little bit of body and some curl but not too tight of a curl so we're going to do her whole head like this and then put her under the dryer until she dries. And here, as you can see, she is dry. Only if people could get dry that fast. <laughs> but um, she's dry, so we're going to take her rollers out, um, place her back under the dryer for a couple of more minutes because she had a few of her rollers that were still damp where the rollers touch. As you can see, I'm kind of showing you with my hand where the hair kind of buckles that is still wet there. So we just placed her back under the dryer for about five more minutes and then I applied some heat protecting and shine to her hair, a moisturizer, like a dry moisturizer. And then I'm just going through each curl because her hair is texturized, still has a little bit of a texture to it. And so that it has like a smooth finished look to it and body, we're going to go through it with a very, very warm curling iron to smooth the curl and give her body and shine and uh, hit her roots and smooth those out too so that um, that wave doesn't come through from her hair being texturized. So we're just basically smoothing out her entire, just finishing her style. whole head is finished and I'm just going to take my fingers and uh, finger comb her hair I think I spray some shine or something like that in it 
uh, but just some just finger combing her hair. She ultimately got it wrapped up for the end of the night because it might have been raining or something like that or she was going home to go to bed. Like it was like nine o'clock at night. So we just went on ahead and wrapped her up, but I just had to um, finish it just so I could see it. I love to see the finished product. Uh, I never get used to or take for granted my client's hair. Um, I am thankful for my God-given talent and I get excited when I finish someone's hair and their face just lights up because they really love their hair and so do I. So I'm just kind of fluffing her hair and giving her finished style and for her picture too. Everyone has to have a picture of the finished style. Um, this is my next client. Her hair is natural and we parted out the top section of her hair and we're going to be putting some flexi rods up there and we're going to um, be braiding the back part once it gets dry. So we're going to place her under the dryer just like this and then when she comes out we're going to take the rods out the top and then pin that out the way and then just parting off the sections as you see here before I get to braid those sections in the back so that whole part that's not flexi rod rotted is going to be braided and it's really going to be like two continuous braids all over the back of her head and they're just going to connect in one spot so I just like to section off areas for my twist or my braids before I start braiding it makes it go a lot faster and I can just kind of get my vision for where I'm going with these braids or with these twists when I am putting them in and that's my daughter in the background she that came up there with me for a little while but she's always trying to hustle up on a hairstyle whenever she comes up there but she didn't bring money with her so it didn't happen that day and plus she swims every day so I'm not really too in a rush to do her hair but I'll actually be doing a video very soon um, on her hair she's going to get some cornrows and we're going to be putting a little bit of blue color in her hair it's going to be really cute so we're going to be doing that um, for her and I will be making a video on that very soon guys so be looking forward to that and then here I just placed the Marcel iron in the stove for, for a little while and got it a little warm and now we're just going over her curls so they can be a little bit smoother and shinier and have a smoother texture she didn't really want the natural texture curls she wanted them to be a little more slicker and smoother so that's why we're just going over it with a warm curling iron and then we're just going to separate the curls and fluff and apply some shine spray and she's done So here I am fluffing and separating the curls. I separated them about two to three times um, to give them a little fullness and then as time goes, she can separate them you know, more often if she wants to get more fullness. This is uh, my next client. She had got a rinse in her hair and that's actually what we're putting in her hair right here was a, a black rinse and her hair is natural. She has some stray hair on the ends because she um, ironed her hair out, but I mean, it's like a half an inch or so. You can kind of barely see it. So we're sticking her under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And here we washed out the rinse, put in the thick conditioner like I always do. I say it over and over and over again. We put the thick conditioner in, detangle the hair. That's the best way to detangle natural hair is with the conditioner and while it's wet so that you will not have breakage or extra hair coming out. And so we're just combing that out and then we're going to go ahead and rinse that after it's detangled. And now we're back and I apply the leave-in conditioner and the setting lotion. And I normally would clip... Um, panels of hair in between the clippies but her hair is not as curly as some people's hair is where I would have to do that so I just comb her flat down to her head smooth and then I make sure it's wet wet and then I put the duckbill clippies right along the perimeter of her hairline and then I take in those ends and flip those up and pin them also that's exactly what I'm doing here and then I do not take the clips out into the hair 
is bone dry because if you take the clips out before it's dry it has a tendency to swell and the swelling allows for tangles and then it won't be a silky smooth iron out it'll have frizz so I don't like frizz and I love silky smooth iron outs I don't like to take the curling iron or the flat iron through the hair you know three four five and six times that's just unnecessary you know to have heat damage and then you just you know you just mess up the integrity of the hair and in the long run it doesn't grow as long because it's so damaged so that's why I do all the work on the front end versus doing it on the back end with a lot of heat so that's that and then here we're just flat ironing her hair and section by section of course and I spray heat protective spray as I go along if I feel like I need it but I normally I buy um, my Aveda products and then I spray the heat protectant and it holds throughout the process. So here we are finishing the last piece and she kind of has like a comb over part in the front instead of a regular side part. So um, she had a little layer in her hair so we just kind of took and feathered her bangs to the side so that it'll just kind of fall in her face. And it turned out really cute. I liked it. And she loved it. She does this little dance when she looked in the mirror. It was so funny. <laughs> my daughter standing in the background as usual she loves her it's like her big sister that she never will have thank you guys so much these are the finished styles of the clients in this video thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate all your support and i will see you guys in my next video